everyone, it's Skye here, and today I'm going to be reviewing one of Hannah Lynn's new books. This is The Fairy Tale Princesses and Storybook Darlings, and um, this is the latest in her self published books. There is 25 gorgeous images based on princesses and fairy tales. And there is also two copies of each design, so that makes a total of 50 pages. So the cover is absolutely beautiful. Hannah does the coloring herself. And um, I love how the images kind of creep onto the spine of the book and then go around to the back. It's just really beautiful, really well done. I always love seeing that. So when we first get into the book, here we have the um, title page. It gives you a little bit to color and kind of personalize it. And then you have the introduction, which always has coloring tips from Hannah. And it also has her, um, her website and then her handle for Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. There is also a group for um, Hannah and that is called Hannah Lynn's Whimsical Adult Coloring will be a description and also I'm just going to promote Hannah's new group. She has a VIP lounge so for as little as $1.99 a month you can uh, sign up for the group and join it and Hannah gives away um, a coloring page, an exclusive coloring page just for her lounge members and it's all completely new. Uh, you get to choose or help choose the concept of it. The majority will be the concept of the image for the month. So it's super exciting. Um, she also hosts giveaways in there and um, a bunch of other stuff. You'll get to see um, firsthand the pictures that she's coming up with. So you kind of get to be the first to sneak peek at those. So it's definitely worth it. I definitely recommend looking in to join that. And I believe that you can find that on her site, but I will try and find a link to get you there so you can look more into it. So next, one thing I love about Hannah's work is she usually names her girls, which makes it super awesome, especially with me being an admin, because we can create albums for them. So she chose little thumbnails of each girl with their names, and it's in the order that they appear in the book, so it's super awesome. So first up, we have Off to the Ball, which is obviously Cinderella. And she is absolutely stunning. Um, the paper in here is the normal Create Space paper. Um, I don't have a problem with it. I can get some really good images off of it, or get some really good color out of the images, so I don't mind it. So one thing that's kind of new in this book is Hannah does have the duplicates, but every second image has the eyes shaded in that you get a better look at that. So for those who struggle with eyes, this should definitely help you get a little bit more depth in your eyes. And just the eyes alone will definitely bring a picture to life, so that's pretty awesome. So next we have To Grandmother's House, and this is obviously Little Red Riding Hood. It's super cute. It's got the wolf in the background. So one thing about this book, there is quite a bit of detail. Even myself is a little bit worrisome about it, but gives you lots to color anyways. This is To Be Human, so this is obviously Ariel from The Little Mermaid. Or you could do it as Ariel's daughter, I can't remember her name, Melody. Melody, you could do it as Melody from The Little Mermaid as well. Next is Princess and the Pea, and this is just absolutely cute. You got that little pea down underneath all these mattresses, and she's sitting there with her cat and her little mermaid doll. It's so cute. You got little sheep outside the window. I'm going to just zoom in just a little bit here so you guys can see a little better. Next up is Hansel and Gretel, and it's going to be super fun to color this one. It's a big ice cream chimney on the gingerbread house, and just lots of fun stuff to color. And this is actually, I believe, the first boy that I have ever seen Hannah draw, and... I am very impressed. I hope she puts more male characters in her books in the future. 
This is Little Miss Muffet. Of course, you got the spider and her spilled porridge. Then we have Magic Carpet Ride, which is Jasmine from Aladdin. This one's super cute, not too much to the background, but you have quite a bit of detail in her, so it's better for somebody who wants to not do so much detail and just kind of focus on one thing. Next is Snow White and Friends. I love this little fox snuggled up to her. There's a little raccoon, I believe, and a little fawn. Down the rabbit hole is Alice in Wonderland, and you got the cute little rabbit there. And this is the fairy godmother from Cinderella. Absolutely gorgeous. I cannot wait to color that dress, and I love how Hannah put a little bit of grayscale shading in the moon because I know a lot of us struggle with moons. This is Mermaid Lagoon, and I believe that this is just another interpretation of Ariel. So you could do Ariel and a couple of her sisters from the original uh, Little Mermaid. Excuse my little crazy man running around in the background. So this is Pinocchio's Wish, and this is probably my favorite image in the whole book. I don't know why, I just absolutely love her hair and that dress. I just, every time I see this image, I cannot wait to color it, and there will probably be a color along of this one coming up soon, so keep a lookout for that. So here is Rapunzel's Tower. Another super cute one. It's got quite a bit of detail, but it'll be super fun to color because in the actual background there's not too much, so you could just focus on the tower and her. Off to see the wizard from The Wizard of Oz. So you've got Dorothy, Toto, the Tin Man, the Scarecrow, the Cowardly Lion, and it's even got one of the little flying monkeys with the Emerald City in the background. Here is the Frog Prince. Super adorable. I cannot wait to color that frog. I love frogs. Again, I really love this one. I love the medieval style dress and her beautiful hair, and she's holding a little orb of some kind. So next is Afternoon Croquet, which is the Queen of Hearts from Alice in Wonderland. Of course, playing croquet with some little porcupines and her flamingos. Another absolutely super cute one. Really, they're all super cute. So here is Enchanted Rose, which is Belle from Beauty and the Beast. Another super fun one, lots of detail in the background. Straw into Gold, so this would be from Rumpelstiltskin. I can't remember her name though. I am familiar with the story, but mm, it's been a long time since I've heard that one. It would be really fun to color all that straw and all the uh, rock on the walls. Waiting for Peter Pan, so this is Wendy. Morning chores, so of course Hannah had to put in the um, maid version of Cinderella, and I cannot wait to color this one. She's got her little chicken friend there and her mice. I remember she's always feeding the chickens in the movie. So next is Tinkerbell, and I actually ended up staining my book a little bit. I'm not sure how, but thankfully I only got it there and just a little bit on the thimble, so not a huge deal. So I actually just finished coloring this one. Um, I used Prismacolor Premiers for the most part. I did a wash of ink tents on her dress and her hair, and then um, the fairy dust in the bottle is ink tense. I used acrylic paint for the background and to get the background shimmery I used this extreme glitter acrylic paint which I'm pretty sure is just glitter suspended in some kind of Mod Podge because the smell of this really reminds me of Mod Podge. So of course I had to make this super glittery. I used stickles on her wings and on the fairy dust and a little bit on the flowers and I am just absolutely in love with how this turned out. Um, so like I said, you can get some really fantastic looking images on this paper, even though it's fairly cheap paper, and um, 
you do still get those little white spots in there, but you know, for the most part, it's not a huge deal. You can't even really see them unless I hold my book close up to the camera. So when you're taking pictures of your coloring, you're not really going to be able to see the white spots. So paper is definitely not an issue for me. If it is for you, Hannah also has these books available in PDF format. So next is Goldilocks and the Three Bears. Then we have Briar Rose from Sleeping Beauty, and she's one of my favorite princesses. I cannot wait to color her. There's a lady in the Hannah group that started coloring her, and I cannot wait to see her finished image because it just looks beautiful already. And all she had was the face and then some of the hair done. Thumbelina one of my absolute favorite movies and I am so excited to color this big bird it is absolutely beautiful I have another thing with birds you can make them super colorful super cute birds and fish and frogs those are my favorite animals to color for some reason so lastly we have the big day and Hannah said that this could be any princess you want it to be she wanted to leave it open for us to decide who we wanted to do so it's pretty awesome especially with having the double pages because you could do one version as Ariel or one as Snow White or whichever princesses you like and she also always includes a blank image in the background, or I think almost always. I think there was maybe one book that didn't have this. I could be wrong though. But uh, I usually use this as a test page if I need to, but for the most part the paper is the same in all her books, so you'll be able to learn what you can use for materials. So that is it for this review. I hope you guys enjoyed. I definitely hope you think about getting this book. And if you're a Hannah fan and you're not in the Hannah Lynn group, be sure to join because we do challenges every month as well as color alongs from the books every week. And um, for the challenges, Hannah gives away a, um, a free digi stamp. So that is the prize for the challenges. So definitely come join us. Here's my little Lilo. She's an attention suck today. Definitely come join us over there, and if you're interested in joining Hannah's VIP lounge, there will be a link in the description for that too. Anyways guys, have a great day, and oh, I will be reviewing the Maui Mermaids when it comes in as well, so keep a lookout for that if you're interested. Okay, bye!